Hi there, everybody. We are making a yummy gnocchi dish here in Cook's Corner. I hope I said that correctly. I always kind of massacre these words. We're joined by Justin Hoyt, the chef at La Belle Winery in Amherst. Uh, thanks for coming in, first of all. Yeah, thanks, it. thanks for having me. A wonderful place here to get wine and also some great food, right? Yeah, excellent food at the bistro at the, and then also events. Yeah, okay. So what are we making up today? Uh, today I'm going to show you the gnocchi. Um, we, we make it seasonally, so we can change the ingredients up and kind of keep this running all year long. Um, and this one's really simple. It's a butter, butternut squash gnocchi. Um, and this doesn't look like the traditional gnocchi. No, right? no. What we're, what, we, what we're trying to do is um, kind of make it accessible for home cooks. So um, the shape of it's due to uh, we have a pipe and bag, and we're just cutting into a, a bottle, bottle. I'm sorry, bottle, a, a pan of hot water. Okay. Um, so that makes it really quick and easy for home cook, rather than trying to form all of them, you know, by hand. So we got a pan there with a little bit of oil in there. Yeah, a little bit of oil, and then we put our gnocchi in. And, um, so this is after the gnocchi's prepared, and we uh, we gave you the. Recipe for the website so y'all can access that. Um, so we're basically, you know, prepared gnocchi and now we're just going to brown it and have it ready for service. Okay. So, How long will you cook those for? Um, well, in the water when you're cooking them, it's about two, three minutes till they come up, and then okay. it's it, it's yeah, it's about five, it's about five minute dish when it's ready. So you know you can freeze these things, put them you know put them in your refrigerator for a couple of days so you can access it pretty pretty easily. Oh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. So what else goes in there? Um, so we've got a little bit of roasted garlic here as well um, and some shallots. Um, you can't go wrong with a little garlic in there. No, I think a lot of garlic, a lot of shallots. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, a little bit of seasoning. And here we have Aleppo pepper and, and uh, sea salt. Aleppo pepper? Aleppo pepper. It's okay. Mediterranean spice. Um, and it's kind of like mild sweet pepper. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. It, you know, a lot of people use like a crushed red pepper, which is a little more spicy, a little bit more. It's got a little bite to it. Yeah, so this stuff's a little sweeter, a little more smoky, and it's great. And we do want to mention, by the way, if you want to check out some wonderful food, there is a gourmet, gourmet festival coming up and a silent auction on March 22nd at Nashville Country Club. To benefit the front door agency, uh, and you guys will be a part of this. Yeah. Um, so at LaBelle, we you know we we really try to benefit as much as much time as we can to uh, to charities. And yeah. Amy sits on the on the agent on the um, board of the front door agency. Um, so we're all really involved in this. You know, it's a cause that we believe in. Um, they support women and children. Um, and it's very cool. You can go there and experience some wonderful foods and also help out, obviously, a good cause. Yeah, yeah. This year is the first year we'll be doing it. But, yeah, uh, you know, I think that we're, we're doing a good thing. And then we also get to showcase, you know, some wonderful food and oh, ingredients sure. from LaBelle. Yeah, again, that's great. March 22nd at Nashville Country Club if you'd like to check it out and help out a good cause. So you put in some butter right there? Yeah, I threw in a little butter. So we're making the sauce now after we've kind of seared this stuff up a little bit, um, stirred around a little bit. And then we're just going to finish it off. Um, with a little bit of dry apple wine, which is which is great, you know, kind of flavors of this dish for the fall winter. Now, are some people kind of pleasantly surprised? They go there and they say, "Well, it's a winery. Obviously, we're going to get pick up a bottle of wine." But oh, you have food here too? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people that I'm talking to in the public don't, don't even know that we have a restaurant there. Honestly, they come in and they're really pleasantly surprised that we have food. But yeah, you know, it's you know, we're kind of developing a nice program over there using local ingredients, and then of course all of Amy's wine are are wonderful. So, and we cook with them, and we try to put them into every. That we cook, so. Um, so we've added, added the dry apple wine. We let that reduce a little bit, and then some just heavy cream here, uh, which will form your sauce. So we get butter, the dry apple wine, a little bit of cream, um, and you just let this reduce a little bit, and it forms a nice sauce to coat the gnocchi. Um, and then you know we add some some garnishes to it, and you see up front here we have it's some uh, so yeah some golden and some red beets, uh, some carrots, parsnips, and a couple of fingerling potatoes. And then of course we garnish it with a little bit of greens to make it pretty. You know what's nice about that? All the color in there. It looks like a piece of artwork. Yeah, that's what we know. We're thinking the the fall. You know, and Labelle is so beautiful yeah. that uh, we have to have food that you know really complements that. I think so. Um, it's fresh and uh, homemade, and that's what we go for. And we should mention, by the way, that you bought an array of wine here. You can get all kinds of stuff. What are the most popular sellers for wine over there? Hey, the, the red, um, and these are two of my favorites. Really. For red, uh, Americus is really popular, and then for one of the whites is uh, the Save All Blanc, and they're both really delicious. And comes in handy in the kitchen as well, obviously, to do. Oh, cooking. absolutely. Yeah, they all they're all really great. Um, okay. I prefer, you know, for cooking, I prefer the uh, the pear and uh, apple wines. Just the sweetness of them is really nice as it reduces in the in the pan. So. Yeah, if you haven't checked this place out, it's a really beautiful spot there. Again, uh, Justin Hoyt from the Bell Winery down in Amherst. And if you want to check out some great food, uh, March 22nd at the Nashua Country Club, there's a gourmet festival going on. You can check that out. You guys will be there. It benefits the front door agency. Yeah, absolutely. We'll leave you with that final product there. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That does it for us.